Hello everybody. Well, I'm back. Got a couple more things to pass out here along, which you probably have already read, but I uh, always find something interesting. And uh, welcome to my channel. Please click the like button and please subscribe. It helps me a lot. And I love you for it. And uh, share. You can share these videos with your friends and your family. You sure can. Well, this one here, to me, is kind of, what do I want to say, shocking? Because I haven't heard anything from John Kerry in quite a while. And I ran across this uh, article. This was uh, posted two days ago. And um, the header said, John Kerry presents the dictators in China with a huge gift. Now, after White House environmental envoy, John Kerry stated he wanted to resume climate discussions with China the day before. President Joe Biden on Wednesday accused China of acquiring nuclear weapons. John Kerry expressed his desire to resume diplomatic climate negotiations with China after such talks were halted by China as a retaliation to the Democrat House Speaker, guess who? Nancy Pelosi's travel to Taiwan. Pelosi's trip was prompted by China's concern about the impact of Pelosi's trip during his speech to the United Nations General Assembly in New York. And uh, Vice President Biden criticized China for under undermining the global nuclear non proliferation framework by increasing its nuclear capabilities in secret. Well, of course, they're going to be secret about it. Come on. Biden made these remarks. Additionally, he urged nations to pass legislation, legislation that would restrict the use of nuclear weapons. During his statement before the United Nations, President Biden described China's development of nuclear weapons as an unpre unprecedented, unprecedented, I'm not doing that right, <laughs> unpre unprecedented, whatever, frightening nuclear development without any openness, unprecedented. Ah, I made it. During a hearing on the armed services on Tuesday, senators and specialists stated that China is believed to now possess 350 nuclear warheads. But that number is anticipated to more than triple, T-R-E-B-L-E, -E, within the next decade. Triple, triple. T-R-E-B-L-E, -E, not triple, a treble, uh, within the next decade. So the next 10 years, that could double, oh, to 700. There has been no progress made in establishing uh, arms control agreements, strategic, strategic, whatever, <laughs> agreements. Oh, I get tickled. I can't help it. Strategic. <laughs> Strategic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Arms control agreements between the United States and China as of yet. Strategic. Strategic. S-T-R-A-T. Strat. E-G-I-C. e g i c e g Usually I can pronounce that word. Oh, well. But now Kerry, speaking at an event hosted by the New York Times on the topic of climate change, made a contrast between the two words by stating they halted. They didn't cancel the climate conversations. We owe it to mankind, so I strongly hope China will recognize at some time in the next days that it is important to re-examine this. Kerry stated that he attempted to contact XIE 
Z-H-E-N-H-U-A, China's Special Representative of Climate Change Affairs, with whom he is acquainted to reopen climate discussions, but that he had not heard back from XI, Zenhua. Is that how you'd say that? Xi Zen Zehanhua. Kerry <laughs> claimed that he had not heard back from so and so. Kerry voiced his optimism that the talks could be restarted and expected that China would collaborate with the United States to achieve the climate change agenda, the primary objective of which is elimination of fossil fuel. Now, Kerry sim similarly um, heaped phrase on China at the tail end of the month of August. He heaped the praise on China. Hmm. Claiming that the communist nation has outperformed its obligations to decrease carbon emissions and develop renewable energy. Now, Joe Biden, President of the United States of America, will deliver a speech to the 7th, 7th, 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly on September 21 of 22, so that's done past now, in New York City, UNGA, United Nations General Assembly. Well, I missed that one. Did anybody else get, out, get that one? I wonder if I can still look that up. The Wall Street Journal reports that in the month of April, China increased its efforts to stockpile nuclear warheads that are capable of hitting the mainland of the United States. I don't like that. That's scary. That is really, really scary. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. My, oh, my, oh, my. Oh, dear. Trump, <laughs> this is kind of cute. Trump reveals new items seized by the FBI that could cause a lot of problems. And we already heard, didn't we? Uh-huh. He's talking about his will. I bet there'd be some unhappy, happy, 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 unhappy people <laughs> in his in his family and where else <laughs> might be wherever they might be <laughs> Wednesday night former President Donald Trump appeared on Fox News seen Hannity's program to talk about various topics such as the latest lawsuit that has been filed against him by the state of New York and his adult children I, I read that one it's very strange timing uh, for these kind of attacks to be happening at this time especially since it occurred right before the FBI raid, Trump's property. That is a little bit suspicious, isn't it? It could be related to the midterm elections. Well, of course it is. The rats are out to play. Yep. According to the conservative news outlet, the conservative brief, during one of his appearances on the program, Trump talked about the raid that the FBI carried out on his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida on August 8th. He reportedly mentioned one of the items that the agents took which he said could cause problems later on. Trump returned to his property last Sunday for the first time since the FBI raided it. He took a look at the items that were taken by the agents. During his segment, Fox News, Scene Hannity, noted that the FBI FBI had seized over 500 documents that were allegedly protected by attorney-client privilege. Before Trump mentioned one of the documents, he had already mentioned about the other 500. During his interview, now how did he know that? Before Trump mentioned one of the documents, he had already mentioned about the other 500. So how did Seen know that? Hmm. During his interview, Trump said that he was surprised by the raid and claimed the FBI took his will. 
He also said that he asked where the documents were. When asked about the documents, Trump said that they could cause problems if they get published. He then cracked a smile after joking with host Sean Hannity. <coughs> There'll be a lot of unhappy uh, members of the Trump family, possibly, and friends, whoever. The interview with Trump was very interesting, as it came right after the New York Attorney General announced she was suing Trump, Trump's organization. The state of New York has filed a lawsuit against Trump and his adult children, accusing them of various fraudulent business practices. According to Kyle Cheney, a legal reporter for the conservative news outlet, The Daily Beast, the state's attorney general is urging the IRS federal prosecutors to investigate the Trump organization. How many times are they going to do that? I mean, ever since he got nominated as president, he's been under investigation. How many times do they have to do this? Now, it's getting a little bit tiresome. Really, really, really. Yes, getting a little bit tiresome. And that John Kerry presents the dictators in China with a huge gift. That is a little scary. I can't understand that about John Kerry. I don't know. Whatever. One thing and something else all the time. Yeah. Gosh. <clears throat> My goodness. Well, Hunter Biden's laptop hard drive likely holds the answer to House Republican questions over President Joe Biden's son, son's Chinese business deals, including his efforts to work out U.S. natural gas deals with the Chinese government leak, link, linked, government linked energy conglomerate. Representative James Corner, Republican of Kentucky, the ranking member on the House Oversight and Reform Committee, sent letters to Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen in May, June, and September and argued the Treasury Department continued to stonewall his efforts to get answers on Hunter Biden's suspicious financial transactions linked to China and elsewhere. Cor uh, Comer's, Comer's newest letter provided granular uh, details about Hunter's efforts to work out deals with China, CEFC, China's Energy, and the Washington Examiner confirmed his laptop hard drive is full of evidence about these efforts. Committee, Republicans seek this information to determine the extent of President Biden's participation in these plans to sell America's interest to China, a foreign adversary. Mm -hmm. Comer told Yellen in a letter this week, please produce all suspicious activity reports connected to China, including the CEFC venture con contemplated by the maps and pre presentation provided herein describing a plan to sell America's energy independence to China. My God, they're selling our land to China, the farmer's land, so they can come over here and play like farmers. And now Biden and them are trying to sell America's energy independence to China? <clears throat> <clears throat> oh my God in Hamel. The House GOP included experts from a December 2017 Business presentation a mailed to Hunter by his assistant, J.Q. Baho, is J I A Q I B A O, Waku Baho, who reportedly previously worked for the Chinese government's National Development and Reformed Commissions and Communist Party Link investment firm before working with Hunter through his Hudson West business. The Washington Examiner laptop view shows dozens of communications between Bio and Hunter. The Washington Exam Examiner commissioned 
<clears throat> Constantinos Gus Demtrilos, whatever, to conduct a full forensic examination of the laptop, and he concluded that the data contained on the hard drive was authentic. Cor uh, Coomer, or Cummer, zeroed, zeroed in on the sale of American natural resources, namely natural gas, to China. What the world? The Republicans included the title page translated from Mandari Mandarin, which was titled, Overview of the U.S. National, National Gas Industry Chain. The House GOP letter also included other excerpts, excerpts, E-X-C-E-R-P-T-S, excerpts from the presentation, or inserts, I bet that's what that is, <clears throat> including a map of shale gas producing areas in the 48 states of the continental, continual, United States, continual, and a map of U.S. natural gas production areas and state capitals, 2016. My God, <clears throat> how long has this been going on? <clears throat> Behind our backs, did anybody else know about this? Please, please leave me some comments, you know, let me know what you read. Let me know what you know. These maps, along with sophisticated analysis written in the Chinese language, are part of a larger presentation emailed to Hunter Biden and show the carving up, oh my, of the United States based on natural gas reserves, Comer wrote. The emails that accompany the transmitted maps reveal a plan to sell American natural gas reserves to China via the same corporate entity branded on the presentation. Hudson West set up by Hunter Biden with officials from the Chinese company. Hunter's laptop contains dozens of other emails and documents related to this energy venture and other efforts to work out deals with the CEFC and Chinese businessmen. It is believed that these dealings are being scrutinized by the Justice Department. Boy, we just never know, do we? Never know. Documents obtained by committee Republicans show that the Biden family received millions of dollars from a Chinese business closely affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party, therefore the Chinese government to sell American natural gas to China, Coomer told Yellen. Comer also included a copy of a wire transfer order from Hunter and his CEFC business partner, Gongwen Dong, and that's G-O-N-G-W-E-N-D-O-N-G. Gongawan Dong to a Mississippi law firm in January of 2018 with Hudson's West sending 14,351 or is that 14 million? 14 million 351 thousand eighty eight dollars to the U.S. law firm related to the Chinese business plan. My God, they're giving us away. What, what the hell? So I guess we'll pack up and move to China. Oh my God. A November 2017 email from Hunter to Gongwen, which was meant to be forwarded to the CEFC chairman, Ye Jiaming Ming Ming. Oh Y E and the last name is J I A N Wan Minging Wang Ming was also included by Comer and it provided insight into the younger Biden's business efforts. CEFC ended up funneling millions of dollars to Hunter Biden-linked businesses. 
I look forward to seeing you at home in New York next week. I have much to report regarding our partnership here in the United States. I hope that you have received the information I sent regarding the LNG opportunities in the state of Louisiana. Hunter Biden wrote, adding, The proposal I have shared with you has the added benefit of being good to both the United States and China simulus simultaneously. Boy, I got that one out. Oh, jeez. Yay, Y-E, has since disappeared in China. <laughs> After state media linked him to a corruption case in 2018, which led CEFC to go bankrupt. I'm getting a headache. Yang's top deputy, Patrick Ho, was sentenced to three years in prison in 2019 for violating the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. Ho was deported to Hong Kong in June of 21. Last year, <laughs> Hunter struck a one million legal retainer agreement with Ho following his arrest. Comer pointed out that Hunter referred to Ho as the fluffy ing spy chief that's a nice word okay fluffing you know what the word is a spy chief of china in a 47 minute audio recording dated may of 2018 found on a copy of his laptop the republican also included an email from hunter arranging office space for the shared effort between hudson west and the cefc Hunter sent a September 2017 email stating that his father, Joe, and Uncle James was his business partners, providing his father's cell phone number. According to additional information provided by a whistleblower, Joe Biden was involved with his Arrangement as a business partner and documents revealed he even had office space to work on the deal. Coomer also told Yellen. The Republican included a May 2017 what, WhatsApp message provided to the committee by whistleblower in it. Hunter's business associate, James Gilliar, wrote, Don't mention Joe being involved. It's only when you are face to face. I know you know that. But they are paranoid. The other person wrote back, Okay, they should be paranoid about things. Gilear replied, For real. The other associate is identifiable, identifiable as Tony Bobulinski, a Navy veteran and former Hunter business partner. The message is part of a trove of hundreds of documents from Bob Ulinsky, obtained by the Washington Examiner, including dozens of texts, texts, emails, letters, and business proposals. Bob Ulinsky spoke at a press conference just before the final presidential debate between then-candidate Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump in October 2020, where he said it was false when Joe Biden said he never discussed business with Hunter saying he was introduced to Joe by Hunter in May of seven, 2017. Bob Linsky said he discussed the Biden's history and the Biden's family business plans with the Chinese, with which he was plainly familiar, at least at high level, during that hour-long discussion. <clears throat> Biden's campaign denied this at that time. Well, of course. We request all SARS from Biden's family transactions, S-A-R-S, including those involving President Biden related to transactions with Chinese entities, Comer told Yellen, we are concerned that the president may have compromised national security in his dealings with the country most adverse to U.S. interest dash China. What have I said? What have I said? What have I said? What have we all thought? Right before our very eyes. And they voted 
Biden in as president. Now you tell me there wasn't rats under the table. And how many times have I said that? I hate to keep repeating myself, God forgive me. Hunter Biden's laptop could hold answers to GOP interest and in Chinese business deals. As Washington Examiner. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, folks, there you have it. It's not really surprising, but then some of the stuff is surprising. And we need to know how long has this been going on? Why are we being sold out to China by a president of the United States that took an oath to protect us? Oh, I'm getting upset. I'm getting upset. <clears throat> I'm going to look for some other information and I might get back to you later. <sighs> it's a lot to take in, isn't it? Really a lot to take in. Now, evidently, those voters that voted for Biden, did they have a handle on all this, too? Did they know? Good question. Be back later. God love you. Take care of your family, your children. Be on the lookout for drugs. And I'll be back. Bye. Or so long. I don't like saying goodbye. I like to say so long. Laters. God bless you.